What's up, boss? Oh, Meekum. Yeah, I'm down. Okay, let's do it. And that, my friends, is why Ford is better than Dodge. Oh, hold on. Hold on, I'm getting a call. Yes, sir. Meekum? <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah, I'll go ahead and grab my camera gear. I'll see you there. All right, boys, we're going to Meekum. What's up, boss? Meekum? Yeah, I'll go to Meekum. I got no problem with that. Sounds good, thank you, sir. Hello? Yeah. You're going to Meekum? Well, I'm ready. Let's go. Yep, we can get some beautiful cars. We'll talk to you then. Bye. What's going on guys? I'm Brian Garcia Torado with Lee Johnson Ford and today we're here at Meekum Auto Auctions in Dallas, Texas to give you guys a behind the scenes look at what we do to obtain our classic cars. Now Meekum is a place where you can get a variety of specialty vehicles, classic cars, and even boats. There's a ton of excitement here as bidders continue to arrive and look at all these amazing cars getting ready to cross the auction block. Today we are here to try and find some rare delicacies that have come from Ford over the years to add as part of our classic car division. So why Meekum, why classic cars, and how do we decide what vehicles to pursue on the auction block? Well, thankfully, we have the right team that has all the answers. Hi, I'm Sean Coyne. I'm a classic car tech at Leaf Johnson Ford. Uh, some of the things that we look for when we're inspecting these vehicles, um, we do like to look for make sure the frame's straight, uh, no rust. A lot of these vehicles are restored at some point, so we want to make sure that the restoration process was done properly uh, and done correctly. Uh, another thing is we want to make sure the engines, transmissions, uh, there's no leaks, make sure that they run good. Uh, we actually came a day early just to see them roll in so we can hear them run and inspect them while they come in. Hey folks, I am Kale Buell. I am a classic car technician at Leaf Johnson Ford. And today we are at the Meekum auction. And I'm going to go over some of the things that we tend to look for in the cars that we want to buy to sell at our dealership. Three main things that we look for in our cars is number one, we look for condition. So that goes from anything from the paint all the way to the engine. Paint wise, we're always looking for dents, any um, orange peel in the paint, if it looks kind of scuffed up in the area or if it's not painted right. And the third thing we always look for in our, our cars that we try to buy here is the VIN number. The VIN number is very important because if it's stolen from another car chassis, if someone tried to do some some rinky stuff, then that can lead to legal problems, and then you got to deal with the government at that point. So it's definitely a pleasure working here at Leaf Johnson Ford and getting to see all these all these wonderful classic cars. So it looks like our guys got their five cars picked out for tomorrow. Now the only thing left to do is bid. So we'll see you on the bidding block. No, I think your camera shot. You're lying. I, I only have two picked out. Three. Three. Uh, what's the third? Oh, we have this. We got three. Kale. He's lying too. What do you got picked out? How many we got picked out, Kale? Two. Three. Three. What about the, three with the Mustang? The Bronco. That's Friday car. Oh, no. uh, uh, so it's yeah. like two. We, like, uh -huh. we all like I told you I was right. Yeah. I First time right. we're right. <laughs> all right I don't want to say nothing nasty on her because he's filming. <laughs> let's get out of here. <laughs> let's, let's go get, get something to eat. Looking for the cars, finding the cars, and inspecting the cars is just half the battle. The real war begins on the auction block. Oh, 
You do, oh, I, I bought a good car. Okay, these, guys. What are these headers? They're so tiny. They're but they're so headers. It, it's See, still the in the name. The mileage on this is 151,000 miles? It says 66 on the... Or 63. 63. 63. That says 163. They forgot to put the one well, on it. probably it. rolled over yeah. already. Huh? Look. Yeah. Look at this. Oh, my gosh. Oh, Excellent. My Actually, you know what? Movable mirrors? That is a luxury. You can't even no, get that, that comes in all anymore. GTs. Nope. Hold on, let's listen to it. Push the clutch in. Mm -hmm. uh, Although we have most of our cars scouted before they cross the auction block, sometimes we see some cars that capture our attention and we have to do a quick inspection on site. What's going on guys, Jess Hernandez here at Mika. Um, as you can see from videos that Brian's already done, we're here for classic cars typically, but every now and then you'll run into something that's very unique, like this 2005 Chevy Silverado, crew cab with only 1,900 miles. I don't think you can find that anywhere across the country. So before bidding on the vehicles, we try to do as much research as we possibly can, uh, bin scanning, doing some research across the country, seeing what those vehicles are bringing. With that odometer, we can find something similar. Uh, so that way we know that we're getting the best value on this vehicle. Picked up a 63 Comet S22 convertible. Um, seems like a pretty nice little cruiser car. A little inline six, so nothing too powerful, but something you know to cruise around in. Top works, paints good, doesn't leak. Looks like a nice little car. What's their oval up. one? Oh, wow, oh, that's that unique too. If they put new uh, felt down. You got the butt connector to the legs. That's every kind of. Yeah, just yeah, gotta get those some wiring and stuff. They repairing. You just have to. Yeah, put some put heat shrink on it. Yep. Yeah. And got a spare. Got an extra rim. Good. It smells like an old car. People describe it as musty. Yeah, I can't dinner. We had to push a guy out just a minute ago, Bob and I. Yeah, they took too much gas out of your mouth. What you will find is a lot of downtime waiting for the car you want to purchase to cross the auction block. But once it arrives, you have to act swiftly and pay attention to the crowd. You don't want to start the bid too high, but you don't want to miss the opportunity to win a vehicle that could yield higher profits.
almost had it. You're going to be quicker than that. That's a wrap, folks. <laughs> I think the auction went well. I think that we found a lot of good cars. I think we picked up how many? 14? 14, 14 cars. Um, a lot of good ones. There's some that slipped away, some that got a little higher on the price. So we had to let those one go, but I think all in all, we found some good cars. Personally for me, Meekum's been a childhood dream of mine to show up to. Um, my dad and I actually used to watch it almost every weekend, watch it on TV, watch it reruns. So being here, seeing the action, seeing how it all goes down, and also being on the side of being a bidder, is, it's, been a, it's, been a, you know, it's been a childhood dream of mine. Kind of bummed out. I lost on a 75 Corvette, but that's all right, I'll, I'll always find another one. So this is my second Meekum Auctions experience. Last year, whenever we were able to go to the Houston Meekum Auction, I, it just, it's so much more fun to go in person than rather going online. And that's, that's the thing that keeps me going is getting to hear the auctioneers in your ears. They just bid on and on and on and you hear all this excitement and it's almost, it's almost chaotic at, at some points. And that's the thing that keeps me going at least to these to these in-person live auctions because it's not even that you're buying the cars, it's it's the experience when you're going to the auction. That's that's the thing that keeps me going to these auctions. I think we did real well on this, this auction. Uh, we didn't spend a whole lot of money like last time and we got some quality uh, cars and trucks. The only thing is, I'm tired and I wanna go home. Daddy, chill. But it was good. I think we did real well. All right, go home, Bob. Okay, thank you. All right, guys, that's going to wrap up today's video. I hope you enjoyed watching us look for vehicles, inspect them, and bid on them in order to purchase them. Give you kind of a behind the scenes look at what it takes to purchase specialty vehicles or classic vehicles in a dealership environment. Now, we're pretty tired, but I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to leave a comment below, hit that like button, or check out one of these two videos. Until next time, guys, peace out.